Hello everyone, it's Bubonic Zombie. Welcome back to Dark Romance Vampire in Love Collector's Edition. And I say that this time um, because I realize now why this is the Collector's Edition. I mentioned that in the very first episode and I didn't know why, but I don't believe in the original edition of this game that we had this extra level of continuing the story because the original game ends with Enron and Dracula... I guess tussling with each other they really just Enron grabbed Dracula and threw him against the wall and the game ended with Enron and Emily being happily ever after but that felt very abrupt so there was an extra level that was unlocked once I beat the game and here we are and so this guy here wants us to prove that we're not a vampire by getting something uh, an ambulance for him in the church a holy relic from the church that only, that only non-vampires can touch should convince them I'm not a vampire. Okay. So. Bird statue. Right? Okay. Select an animal to switch it with another. Arrange the animals by leg count, and each symbol corresponds to a number. Okay. There we go. Okay, we got something. Looks like a domino. It is a domino. Okay, it's over here. Two tiles are missing. I have to find them in order to repair this mechanism. There's a lava flow here. But then again, I believe we are in an underground cave. What's here? Ah! We have a crystal. Place the crystals in the correct order to open this hiding place. Select a crystal and then swap it with another. Okay. It looks like they broke off of here. So I'm going to have to switch that. And as you guys can see, Enron's part of the locket is broken because we are unable to get to him. Okay, we need two tiles for that. Let's go to the map. See where we need to be. Okay, we can still do stuff in the underground cave. Let's go to the town square. Handles. Yeah, we need one more handle. And we need a skull for this to get inside. And a stamp. One missing piece. Don't think a domino is what we need. Nope. Another way, can we pick it with the hairpin? Yes, we can. Oh, that is a lovely guitar. Look at that etching. Okay, so we have the second handle. I could cut the strings instead of breaking them. Okay, so we need to find something to cut the strings. But we have a second handle. Open this. Okay. Repeat the sequence shown by the flowers. Oh, it's Simon Says! There we go. Okay, it wasn't too bad. It was just one sequence I had to repeat. Okay, so we have that piece, looks like part of that puzzle, and we have a strawberry. Okay, so a metal strawberry. That piece. 
To open the gate, select the images in evolutionary order. <laughs> Click the wrong image. Clicking the wrong image will reset the minigame. Oh man. Gonna be honest with you, this will probably take a long time. That's it. The bat was the last one. The gate is open, and now I can see what is interesting in that cul-de-sac. So I figured with that, it meant that we evolved into man, and then man became vampire, which was the bat. Dead end. The vampires have caught people in every corner of the city, in its most hidden places. Okay. So, um, which was the bat. So that ended with vampire. Like, life ends with vampires. Have we previously? Okay. Okay. We haven't read this. Underground cave. In the underground cave, I met an old man. He told me that the people who survived the vampire attack once decided to leave the cave. They went out of it and then never returned. Ever since this man has lived here alone, he wants me to bring him the amulet so that he can leave the cave for the sunlight without fear. Okay. I am walking dead end. I am walking through the streets and I imagine the horror that happened here. I have to go into the door to the left and look for something that could be useful here. Door to the left. It's here. Mm -hmm. I think the mechanism will work if I can find two missing parts. Okay. There's something behind the barrel, but it's too heavy to move. Maybe I can tilt the whole cart. I don't have anything to tilt it though. It's here. Can't solve this puzzle without the missing piece. Everything is missing a piece! <laughs> is that it? Okay. No. Oh! Oh, she's picking a strawberry! Pretty boss relief, but it is locking the gate. Replacing the missing berry may open. Whoa! You guys saw that, right? The chick looked at us. Okay, so we have hidden object scene. Oh, that's a nice statue. There's a ship. No, we just need to put it in a bottle. There we go. For those people who do um, craft ships, ships in a bottle, that is very tedious and very time-consuming. Kudos to anyone watching who does that. There's a scarf. There's a lion. Okay, we found the shafts. We can stay here or we can go back to the underground cave. What else can we do here? Oh. Oh, we have a domino. To open the shutters, match the dominoes. Rotate a domino by clicking on it. Uh, this reminds me of playing the game Dominoes, but I never quite understood that game. The only time I understood it was um, when I was playing it with my grandmother. She understood how to play it. Okay. So these and these. There we go. Okay, something written there. There's something behind that stone. How can I get it out of there? We have a little coin. Puzzle circles. We have one puzzle circle. How do we get it out? Can we grab it? No. <laughs> this won't help! He just exclaimed that to me. I don't think we... Oh? We have a ladder. I didn't even notice that the first time we were here. Okay. Well, let's go to dead end. This. Oh! 
There we go. I think these glowing spores will come in handy, but what can I gather them with? We have another puzzle piece. Okay. I believe those go here. There we go. Connect the circle so that all the pairs have the same total diameter. Select the circle and then swap it with another. Pairs. There we go! I hope that no vampires will come for now, and I will soon reach Enron. We go into the warehouse. Oh, what are you? Well, it's pretty. What a pretty stuffed bird. It's too bad that a feather is missing. Perhaps I can find it. Okay. Okay. We have a heart. To see what's inside this cupboard, I'll have to find the missing part. Need to remove the cord to see what's in the barrel. Grab the little brush. Whisk. Still trying to figure out what this cast of hand is. Okay. Got some boards. giant and without a ladder I can't reach that high. Sorry guys I just bumped my mic. Here's a ladder. Oh do I need to put up there? There we go. Now I have a ladder I can see what's up there. Now that I have a ladder. Use the whisk. There we go. Ah. It's a piece of something and a stamp. Metal plate and a postage stamp. Okay. This no. Okay. But we have a stamp for Town Square. It's over here. Okay. Put the stamps in the correct places. Select a stamp and then swap it with another. Okay. Oh, that's cute. It had matching stamps. Oh, look, it's one of the skulls! Now we can put it here. Punch the code to open this door. If you push a skull in the incorrect sequence, the game will start over from the beginning. Okay, so it's like the, um, the gate for um, the garden area at Dracula's castle. There we go. Okay. Now I can see what's inside the church. If there's a secret place as possible, I will find a weapon to defend myself from vampires. We will do that in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye.